I did have the cartoon A Wild Hair, but when I uploaded this to YouTube, as you can see, the original video was blocked because of a fake copyright by WBTV. This is public domain. I have all the proof. I've sent it to YouTube, but my emails have been blocked since I was asking for a reason why I've been demonetized. I'm not sure what to do, so I've just had it. I've had to edit the video to remove it and I hope that everyone involved is ashamed of themselves because this isn't right. It's not right for me and it's not right for anybody else who this happens to. Birth Frances Stewart, née Howard, Duchess of Richmond and Lennox, and Countess of Hartford. She was born the 27th of July, 1578, and died the 8th of October, 1639. She was the daughter of a younger son of the Duke of Norfolk, an orphan of a small fortune. She rose to be the only Duchess at the court of King James I of England. She married the son of a London alderman who died in 1599, leaving her a wealthy widow at a young age. She became for 20 years the third wife of the ageing Edward Seymour, first Earl of Hartford, nephew of Jane Seymour, third Queen Consort of Henry VIII. Within months of Edward's death, she married a cousin of James I, Ludwig Stewart, second Earl of Lennox and first Duke of Richmond. One of the great beauties of the Jacobean court, she was also the patron of Captain John Smith of the Virginia Colony. She died on the 8th of October 1639. She was buried in Westminster Abbey next to her third husband. Death, John Dalton. He was born the 6th of September 1766 and died the 27th of July 1844. He was an English chemist, physicist and meteorologist. He is best known for introducing the atomic theory into chemistry and for research into colour blindness, sometimes referred to as Daltonism in his honour. John Dalton was born into a Quaker family in Eaglesfield, England. At the age of 27, he was appointed teacher of mathematics and natural philosophy at the New College in Manchester. He remained there until the age of 34, when the college's worsening financial situation led him to resign his post and begin a new career as a private tutor in mathematics and natural philosophy. He never married and had only a few close friends. As a Quaker, he lived a modest and unassuming personal life.
For 26 years prior to his death, he lived in a room in the home of the Reverend W. Johns, a published botanist, and his wife. His daily round of laboratory work and tutoring in Manchester was broken only by annual excursions to the Lake District and occasional visits to London. He suffered a minor stroke in 1837 and a second in 1838, which left him with a speech impairment, although he remained able to perform his daily experiments. On the 27th of July, 1844, Dalton fell from his bed and was found dead by his attendant. He was accorded a civic funeral with full honours. Event in 1940, the animated short A Wild Hair was released, introducing the character of Bugs Bunny. A Wild Hair reissued as The Wild Hair is a 1940 Merry Melodies cartoon supervised by Tex Avery, credited as Fred Avery on the original issue. The short subject features Elmer Fudd and Bugs Bunny, the latter making what is considered his first official appearance.